Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the blower motor assembly in a GE dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a quarter inch socket wrench, and a small flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new blower motor assembly. This blower motor assembly is mounted on the inside of the dishwasher door in the upper left corner. It ventilates the cavity, helping dishes to dry. If the dishes come out still wet at the end of the cycle, check the blower motor assembly and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to separate the outer and inner doors of the dishwasher. We're going to start with uh, two screws at the bottom. There's a quarter inch screw in each corner. We need to take them out. I'm going to use the uh, socket wrench with a quarter inch head on it. Let's dive under and uh, do the work. All right, so this is the first screw. And uh, using the uh, socket wrench, quarter inch, we're going to remove it. And the second one, gonna put it right there. Now I'm gonna open the door. So we've got the uh, 12 Phillips screws that holds inner and outer door together. We're gonna take 10 screws out and I'm going to loosen up these two screws. We're not gonna take them out. And start from this side. I'm gonna leave this one in for now. It will hold the doors together. All right, so I'm going to uh, loosen this slightly and this. All right, then we're going to continue on the on the left side of the door. And again, I'm going to leave this one in for a few more seconds. And now I'm going to lift up the door slightly and we're going to support it from from underneath i'm going to take this one out and i'm going to go on the opposite side do the same thing i'm holding the door all right i'm gonna put the door in the upper position and i'm gonna slide it out up And out. Don't take the door away because we have connector here. We need to disconnect it first. So there is a tab right there. We need to press it down. We are using this small flat blade screwdriver. Push it down, and we're gonna disconnect the ribbon. And we're gonna take the door away. So this is our blower motor assembly right there, and uh, we're going to start removing of the motor by uh, with the unplugging this power plug. And there's the two tabs. We're going to squeeze them and pull the plug apart. Next, I'm going to remove four Phillips screws, one, two, and three, and four. Using the same Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to go to work. All right, so you're going to remove the whole assembly, slide it out, and I'm going to put it on the top, and I'm going to disconnect the blower assembly. All right, so we're going to take out these uh, six Phillips screws using the Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to start with two on the side. And now we're going to slide this uh, motor out, turn it over, and I'm going to pull it out. This is the old blower motor assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. All right, so you can install the new blower assembly. We're going to slide it into this uh, cutout. It goes in this way.
and uh, I'm gonna turn it we need to match the holes and we're gonna secure it with the screws I'm gonna place a couple of them on the side and then I'm gonna turn it around I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna place uh, four more screws in and now we're gonna install it onto the door I'm going to start with uh, placing uh, this portion this is the uh, our exhaust into this uh, duct slide it in and we're gonna place this on right so this uh, lever is inside the cutout that's very important so slide it on and I'm gonna secure it with the uh, four Phillips screws and you go this screws goes in using a Phillips screwdriver I'm gonna tighten it all right I'm not gonna plug this in make sure it's locked all right let's ring the door put it down here and we're going to connect the ribbon all right so I'm gonna put it in and I'm going to press it in hold on the door push it in and now I'm going to uh, put down the insulation and we're going to install the door all right make sure that the brackets are turned uh, this way all right so we're going to uh, sort of hang the door all right let's place it on the brackets I'm uh, supporting the door with my foot at the bottom and uh, lock it on these brackets now we're going to tighten the screws slightly and I'm going to put the rest of the screws I'm gonna open it support it and place the screws in I'm gonna use the field screwdriver gonna tighten it so that would be our pilot screw also it will be holding the, the door and I'm gonna switch the sides and I'm going to place one screw on this side too all right now we're gonna install the rest of the screws okay now I'm going to loosen up this one slightly and make sure that they are centered there's no holes around the screws all right I'm gonna close the door and now I'm gonna secure the bottom of the door with a couple of quarter inch screws I'm going to place them in and then turn it manually as far as it goes and then I'm going to tighten it with the second wrench plug the dishwasher in and enjoy your clean dishes Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.